The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Um, the novel is set in the future, where the United States of America has been replaced by a new totalitarian state called uh, the Republic of Gilead. Um, Gilead rose to power because they wanted to put a stop to the vast amounts of ready, readily available porn, prostitution, and the amount of violence there was towards women. Um, yes, and they also intervened due to declining fertility rates that were caused by pollution and chemical sp spills, which led to radiation sickness. Um, the main character's name is of Fred, which is not her real name, but she says that no one is allowed to call her by her real name anymore because her name is forbidden. Uh, she is a handmaid. A handmaid's job in Gilead is to be assigned to married couples in order to bear their children. Um, Offred is assigned to the commander and his wife, Serena Joy, and they look like this, probably. Um, uh, every month when Offred is at the right part of her menstrual cycle, she is required to have personal, impersonal, wordless sex with the commander. However, when this is taking place, Serena is required to sit behind her, holding her hands, and there isn't a lot of talking or eye contact, and it's, it's a bit awkward, and it's quite... Hard to draw. Um, yeah. Um, and yes, the novel uh, uses a series of Offred's flashbacks to clarify what's happened in the years leading up to present day. We find out that she has had an affair with a married man named Luke and she has ended up marrying him and they have a daughter together. Um, we also find out that Offred was raised by her mother who had been a feminist activist and she had a best friend called Moira who was a tenacious rebellious lesbian who refuses to stand up against Gilead. Stand down against Gilead. Yeah, down. Um, yeah. And then, when the Republic started, there was a crackdown on women's rights, and it forbade women to hold property or have jobs, and Offred and Luke attempt to flee to Canada with their daughter, but they're caught at the border and are separated, and Offred never sees them again. And, yeah. And then, after Offred gets captured, she's sent to the Rachel and Leah Re-Education Centre, which is called the Red Centre by its inhabitants, and it's where women are re-educated to become handmaids and are taught that women are men's servants and that they should be solely concerned with bearing children. And Moira's a rebel, and she goes there and then escapes, and Offred doesn't know what happens to her. And then, um, Offred gets assigned to the commander's house, where her life settles into a restrictive repetitive regime and she's only allowed out of the house to do shopping and she has to do this with another handmaid whose name is Of Glen. And whilst they're on the shopping trips together they visit the wall and uh yeah this used to be a wall outside Harvard University but now it's used to hang people on to remind people how powerful Gilead is. And Of Glen tells Of Red that she is a member of a secret underground organisation known as Mayday which is dedicated to overthrowing Gilead. Um then what happens is there is a... Oh, yeah, um, she goes to... Uh, Offred doesn't get pregnant, which is bad, because if she doesn't get pregnant, then um, she'll get in trouble. Even if it's the commander that's infertile, she'll get the blame. And she goes to a doctor for a checkup, and they check that she's able to get pregnant, because if she's not, she'll get sent away. And the doctor offers to have sex with her, um, because the commander is probably infertile. And she's heard of this happening before and considers it, but declines because she doesn't know if she can trust the doctor and it's too risky if she gets caught. Um, then one day, the commander tells his gardener and chauffeur, Nick, to tell Offred to come and see him in his study. And, oh, he's got skinny legs. And um, Offred starts visiting him regularly, and the commander lets her play Scrabble and read old magazines such as Vogue, which is all forbidden because women are not, allowed, are not allowed to read and write. And he lets her do all of this on the condition that he gets a kiss from her at the end of each meeting. Um, and all of this goes on without Serena Joy knowing. Um, a lot more time passes without Offred getting pregnant, and then Serena Joy suggests that she have sex with Nick and then pass the baby off as the commanders. Um, if she does this, Serena promises to bring off Fred a picture of her daughter, who she has not seen since they were separated and who she assumed was dead. And off Fred is really angry because she realises that Serena has always known about the whereabouts of her daughter. Um, then, 
uh, oh, the, the same night that Alfred is supposed to have sex with Nick, the commander gives her a revealing outfit to wear and takes her to a club called Jezebel's, where commanders can mingle with prostitutes. Inside the club, Alfred sees that Moira is working there, and she's dressed as a Playboy bunny, and they secretly meet in the bathroom, and Moira tells her about how she had escaped from the Red Centre and she was captured, and then she chose to be a prostitute rather than be sent to the colonies. And then she never sees her again. And then later that night, Alfred and the commander go to a hotel room, and Alfred has to have sex with him, but, and she tries to fake some passion, but she can't really manage it. Um, and then... Yeah, and then Offred and the commander return home and Serena goes to Offred's room and tells her to go and have sex with Nick and she does and they soon begin sleeping with each other frequently without anyone else knowing. And then Offred becomes too caught up in the affair and she sort of fails to collect information about the commander as she's supposed to be doing for Offglen. Um, and then one day all the handmaids are told to group execute a supposed rapist and Offglen strikes the first blow and they have a fight, and later she tells Offred that he wasn't actually a rapist, but a member of May Day, and she was just putting him out of his misery. Um, shortly after this event, Offred doesn't show up for a shopping trip, and Offred is informed that she's hanged herself when she saw that the secret police known as the Eyes were coming to get her. Um, then Offred, Offred goes home to find that Serena has found out about her trip to Jezebel's with the commander, and she is sent to her room with a promise of punishment. And she sees that the eyes have arrived, but Nick tells her that it's just Mayday, disguised as the eyes coming to rescue her. Alfred leaves with them, but she doesn't know if she can trust Nick, so she might be going to freedom or prison. Um, the novel closes with an epilogue from the year 2195. It is after Gilead has fallen, and it is written in the form of a university lecture given by uh, Professor Piazzotto. Piazzotto? Something like that. And... Um, and he discusses the significance of Offred's story as part of history, and he, she, he suggests that Nick arrange Offred's escape. Um, however, it's still unknown what her fate was, and she could have escaped to Canada or England, or she could have ended up in prison or dead. Yeah. Um, and then that's the end. Yeah.